My name is Bones, and I'm the king of Footscray. I lived here my whole life, the last six years of my whole life. I love the wide array of food, the cultural diversity, shopping with the happy families at the markets on weekends, as well as the stench of rotting food and flesh, and the cantankerous homeless who consume it, the disposable needles that have been disposed of in my street, and the fact that there are jail bars on every window of my house and it still gets broken into. But recently we've seen an influx of outsiders, unsavouries who want what we have, but by actually coming here they change our community for the worse. They campaign against the melodious truck noises. They open espresso bars. That's if they're not sucking off the welfare system. They make rents rise and push locals out and destroy the diversity of this town. Some call them yuppies, hipsters, or code people, because they're always wearing those jackets. But really we're talking about one thing, and that's white folk. And I've had enough of these people sneaking in the back door on their bikes when we're not looking and destroying the fabric of Footscray. What's so wrong with where they were? They're ruining what I love. The greatness of this place can only be divided so many times. It's like cordial. The more water you put in, the shittier it tastes. It's time we took what's ours and sent these white people back to where they came from. So we're going to bait new settlers with things they love to catch them and send them home. And we're going to deter new arrivals by showing them Footscray doesn't want them. They keep coming. Why? Why would they do this when they know we're going to send them back? Man, we have to step up our game.
Bones, maybe we should just stop this and accept these people. What? <laughs> Have you thought that the white fellas are actually adding to the diversity in a weird way? They're self-sustainable, they bring their backyard gardens, their cafes. Yeah, there are some that live off welfare too, but there's Footscray locals like that as well. These people want to add and be part of our culture. They want to go to our Vietnamese restaurants, eat African and live just like us. Yeah, it's embarrassing at first, but leave a vanilla bean in a melting pot long enough and it will melt and will be spiced by it and taste even better. How can we hate them when they just want what we have? Why do we deserve it more than them? It was all just luck that we came to Footscray before the white people. What about... What about a cordial? Maybe so, my friend, but the more water in cordial, the better it is for you. Ain't gonna try, won't get a right, can't ever fight like you. Ain't gonna try, won't get a right, can't ever fight like you. Ain't gonna try, won't get a right, can't ever fight like you. Oh.